So I'm going to do two more molds with this star part and we're going to sprue them up in different ways in the sand casting mold so you can understand the difference of flow dynamics when you're casting from the top side, the back side, and the edge side. But you don't need to watch me ram this up three times so we're just going to set it up for time lapse and then come back to it to discuss the different ways that the um, the mold frames are aligned and how we're doing the flowing and venting of the cast part. Okay, so we have three different mold frames rammed up in three different orientations. One, where we're casting sprued directly to the corner of the star. A second, where we have our sprue coming in the central, the thickest part of the body of the star, and vents that come off the star point pointed up. And then another one, where we have the sprue coming directly into the top of the star and again air vents coming off the back of the star. Now these could be pointed out radially, there's no problem with that. It's just a question of aesthetic choice. If you have vents that you want to clear off, it's easier to trim them off the back. Uh, sometimes it's harder to figure out where your star point ends. But just know that every time there's an impression in the sand beyond the star point, it is an air vent for this drastic taper that is occurring in the star. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is get ready to cast, and I think we will try the same exact part in Cuttlefish. So if we have any positive results with these three, we can compare them to how the Cuttlefish behaved. 